howdy internet, and welcome to me practicing art. How fun, you might say, possibly without sarcasm. I actually really like practicing, and um, I don't do it enough. For a really long time, like doing years of art, I just, you know, I wanted to draw what was fun, and that's also great. I mean, I think that's a really good way to kind of uh, just encourage yourself to draw at all when you're sort of starting out and you might not really care so much about the technical things because what you want to do is just like draw your favorite character or your favorite scenario or whatever. Um, so not that I discourage that like in the slightest. I think you should just draw whatever uh, inspires you, like literally anything. So uh, I, I would never really say that doing studies and stuff like that is mandatory because I didn't do it for so long <laughs> like um and I still felt happy with my art and proud of it and I don't think it's necessary but now I've come to a point where I don't have the same interests in things that I did at that time and now I kind of crave just doing art for the sake of doing art like nothing nothing less nothing more really I just find it enjoyable so uh, doing studies and things like that is really fun to me, especially once you get to a certain level, not that I'm like, oh my god, God's gift to art or anything like that, but um, I mean, I'm not a total beginner for sure, and um, it's just, uh, it, it takes a little more effort, I think, to notice the technical differences from year to year once you get to kind of a certain level of, like, knowledge. It's not don't see the same progress that maybe you once did unless you sort of make an effort to really try. So I try to do that. <laughs> and um, I don't make the time often enough. I mean even I'm selfish and sometimes I want to be like oh, I just want to draw whatever's like fun. <laughs> but, uh, but today I didn't and that was great. I did like two hours of figure drawing and this is what you're watching. <laughs> For some reason I didn't get the first half of my like full body work but uh, I don't know I just suck at using hypercam I guess um, I figured I would take the chance to talk about what I've had experience with as far as figure drawing goes and just general studying um, I personally have not really taken many classes for art whatsoever I have studied a tiny bit tiny tiny bit when I was I want to say maybe like 14 or so, I took a class from a very skilled classical painter, his name is Francesco Lombardo. Um, I can even link his stuff because it's pretty cool. But um, still at the time I was 14, you know, and 14 year olds want to draw like fun cartoons, at least I did. I didn't give a shit about uh, learning any like stuff like this, you know, how to do realism and stuff like that it just didn't interest me and it didn't even seem to apply to I don't know what I was doing at the time so you know I, I learned some of things for sure no doubt but it took me a long time to appreciate that kind of work but you know here I am now and I don't really have time to do classes or go to art school or whatever I mean it's not really part of my plan so Thankfully we have the internet, which has like so many great resources. This is personally a class challenge from a website called Line of Action, I think. And uh, I better double check that before I post this. But uh, yeah, they have like, I'll even try and put it on the video somewhere, like how long each one takes, but they'll give you a picture and give you a timed interval for how long you're supposed to work on it. And that's what I did. It was very fun. I am not that great at it. So <laughs> like, um, I like I can see watching this right now that I did improve sort of as I was going along, but I have never really done this for many years. And even then, I don't think I did it quite with the same. I mean, it was traditional then. I didn't do digital art. 
so I'm very interested to see how this will change. I Okay, the one that I'm doing right now, I actually hate this one so much because you could tell halfway I kind of decided like, okay, just doing lines for these longer timed ones is not going to work out for me. Like there's no way I need to do like shading and things like that. And <laughs> uh, there, there's this whole philosophy of painting like a sculptor and I tried to incorporate that about halfway paying more attention to my light sources and things like that and I guess since it was the first one I did oh god it's so ugly but that's okay I mean part of the exercises is to realize what you've done <laughs> what atrocities you have committed right and kind of you have to stop thinking so much about the same things that you draw over and over and over again and what you've learned like how wide a face should be how distant everything should be you need to constantly remind yourself that your style is not how the world actually looks most of the time at least personally I'm not a great you know realism like out of thin air person because I've never really done that much so to me it's all about retraining my brain to look at a picture and go what I think I'm seeing is not necessarily what needs to happen like I have to retrain myself to look at an image and go okay study every piece of this down to the detail and learn from that <laughs> so I try my best but looking back on these um, Actually, these last two are not so bad, but especially my initial figures and all that stuff, like the intention is to do a gesture drawing, which kind of gets just the feeling of a picture. And I don't think I did very well on that. I think I'm so technical and I have this tendency to just draw with lines and not really think about the shapes and forms. It's all about, to, to my mind, it's like lines which are contours, like I'm I'm fine doing that because I've done so many comic kind of styled art, but when I think about the forms, it's significantly more different and just the general flow and energy of things. It's, it's just hard for me to capture like any kind of exaggeration that sometimes you need to, to actually learn the dynamicness of a pose. So I'm rambling a lot about nothing <laughs> but it's for my own self-reflection because this is to learn something you know and I don't even know why I make these videos most of the time but I make them so I can have something to look back on and go wow or maybe not wow maybe wow in a bad way I don't know <laughs> it just depends but um it's so good to keep myself on my toes and force myself to get out of my comfort zone and really look critically at my own art and that's how I think it'll improve in a way that I actually like care about so thank you for being here um and hopefully there will be an episode two at some point I really enjoyed this and I would like to kind of go and do some studies about the things I'm unsatisfied with and come back and see if next round, my next two hours, I can notice a difference. So I'm sure eventually you will, right? After you draw like a couple hundred of these, surely there's going to be some things that are different. And that's, uh, that's what I'm excited about. So <laughs> thanks so much, you guys, and I will see you around. Hopefully, anyway. <laughs>